Welcome to Milan, the fashion capital of Italy. I'm here to explore everything the city has to offer, starting first in the historic center with the breathtaking Duomo Cathedral behind me. And then of course, we're absolutely gonna fit in some time for shopping at the historic Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. I'm standing in the middle of Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, which is Italy's oldest and largest shopping center. Named after the first king of Italy, this place is where you wanna be to get your shop on. From Prada and Gucci to other name brands, this is one historic place to do some damage. If the Galleria is not for you and you are done shopping, fear not, because it is lined with cafes down each of its four arteries. So, for lunch or dinner, it's the perfect place to stop or for an aperitivo. You must come to Galleria. It's this beautiful restaurant with the most incredible wood oven pizzas. I suggest uh. eat only Milan. <laughs> <laughs> We have a chef specialty from the house that was brought, a beautiful panzerotto, which is a basic fried pizza with the beautiful pomodoro tomato sauce and the cheese, and it looks fabulous. Beautiful, wow. Oh my lord, is that gorgeous. This is what I call the perfect start to lunch. Beautiful Parma ham absolutely glistening on the plate with the very soft and jiggly burrata, which is going to melt in my mouth. This is so sweet and soft, and it's not typically like some of the drier, saltier Parma hams that you may find because, as I learned in Bologna, there are different ways to actually cut the ham, to cut the prosciutto. So this is definitely coming from the very soft, luxurious section of the prosciutto, and it's out of this world delicious. Wow, look at that burrata. Absolutely beautiful, with all that creaminess just oozing out of the shell. Gorgeous. Mmm. And then what I do is add a little bit of extra pizzazz to the top of it. So I'm gonna put some of this wonderful Carpinetto olive oil onto the burrata. A quick twist of salt and a little fresh cracked pepper. The cheese is cool and creamy, very milky, soft. And what's so different about the burrata here in Italy versus the States, again, is that it's not pasteurized. So you get that wonderful juiciness to the flavor of the burrata, which you really can't find back home. And then with the Parma ham, it's just perfect. It's creamy, it's sweet, it's salty. It is 100% goodness on the plate here at Galleria. Beautiful. This is not just how they do pizza in Milan. This is how pizza is done at Galleria. A special thin crust pizza with a very light tomato on top, cheese, and then porcini mushrooms. It is heaven. And when you come to the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele, you must come here to Galleria for the best wood fire pizzas you will find in Milan. Look at how beautifully thin this crust is. Mm. Mm. What I love about this pizza is that it is simple. Why? Because the quality of the ingredients here at Galleria in this pizza are so high and that is what makes the pizza outstanding. The thin crust, the porcini mushrooms, 
the pure tomato, and then the cheese. It's simple, it's high quality, and it is delicioso. And voila, sir. Wow. Oh. Osso buco with risotto milanese. Beautiful, grazie. Prego. Now a classic dish from this region of Lombardy is the osso buco, served on an incredibly beautiful yellow creamy risotto, butter, parmesan, saffron, it is divine. And the veal is actually the shank of the veal that is roasted beautifully over several hours, low and slow, so it is melt in your mouth tender. Wow. This dish is excellent. The risotto is perfectly al dente, creamy. You can taste the butteriness in it, and the saffron is the perfect spice to really make that risotto pop. The star of the dish is the veal, cooked to perfection. Melts in your mouth, fork tender, and the sauce, just a beautiful tomato base sauce with pureed vegetables out of this world. This is one of the best also bucos I have ever had. And if you think that you're done with this dish, think again, because there's a very special part that you cannot omit in enjoying this dinner. And it is the actual marrow that you'll find here in the bone. And you just have to scoop it right out. It's like somewhere between um, fat and a buttery taste. It is so good. And with all this good flavor from the risotto and the veal, fantastic. Now this is the perfect osso buco. Mm. The marrow takes it to a whole new level. Beautiful. Thank you. This is beautiful. These are nipples of Venus. Really? White vanilla meringue with uh, uh, Armagnac uh, orange cream and uh, chocolate sauce with chestnuts glassy uh, ice cream. How special that the head pastry chef here at Galleria, Enrico Paracina, created the most fabulous dessert. Beautiful meringues with gold lame, a chocolate chestnut sauce with ice cream, and a beautiful Armagnac custard. Very, very, very special dining experience at Galleria. Mmm. Fabulous. This dish evolves when you eat it. When you mix everything together, you get the crispy, crunchy, light meringue fragrant with the Armagnac custard. And then with this chestnut sauce, it actually starts to solidify because of the cold of the ice cream. And it gives you a really almost chewy caramel uh, consistency in your mouth. And then with the very waxy nuts, it's so good. Milan is an incredible city. Fashion, food, and the hospitality of the Lombardy region is arguably some of the best in all of Italy, if not the world.